triangles formed by shadows. Okay, we've got two trees here. This is the hypotenuse, AB, and this is the hypotenuse, DE, for this one. So, the height of this tree is unknown, so we've got an H, and this is A, B, C. This is 18 feet tall, and this is angle D, E, F. Now, if you notice, right here, let me grab a marker. If you notice, right here, and right here, are 90 degree angles. So that tells us we already have a measure for some of the angles. Okay? We know they're 90. So here's how we're going to solve this problem. Two trees stand side by side. The shorter tree is 18 feet high and casts a 30 foot shadow. The taller tree casts a 55 foot shadow. How tall is the larger tree? So we're going to use the information from this one to find out the height of this one, because we know this one's 18 feet tall with a 30-foot shadow. That's going to be our ratios. So we're going to identify the corresponding angles and sides. And let me back a little bit so you can see. We've got the angle of the measure of angle C is equal to the measure of angle F. Okay, where's angle C? Right there, and F right there. Okay, well, we know those are both 90 degrees. The measure of angle B and the measure of angle E are equal. Okay, here's B, and here's E. They're equal, whatever they are. Height for here and 18 feet here are corresponding sides. Okay, they correspond. The measure of angle A, that's this guy at the top of the tree, and the measure of angle D are equal. These two angles have the same measurement in degrees. The sides, 55 feet here, the shadow, and the 30 feet are corresponding sides. So write a proportion with H, the height, to help solve it. So we know the large height over the small height is equal to the long shadow over the short shadow. Or, you can say H over the 18 feet, this over this, is equal to this over this. So we've got height over 18 is equal to 55 over 30. So now we cross multiply. 18 times 55 is 990. So now, whatever 30 times h is, should be 990. So what we do is we write 30 times h equals 990, and then we divide by 30 on both sides to isolate the h, like we did in our algebra videos. So 30 and 30 cancel each other out, and now we have h is equal to 990 divided by 30, came out to 33. So we know the height of this tree is 33 feet. So we were able to use corresponding angles and sides to help us solve how tall that tree was. And the shadows helped us. You can do this. It's not that hard. If you have a shadow problem in your book, try, try doing this.